Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my makeup inventory and today's topic is powders. So let's just get into it. There's no order. There's going to be random. So let's just get into it. Okay. First I have the Spasame Cosmetics Brightening Vanilla Rose Powder. They have really nice uh, powders. Um, if you can get them on a deal, they usually have buy one get one deals. And every once in a while, they will um, throw in a little surprise in your box. And that's how I got this one. It was a surprise. So that was very nice and generous. Then I have this Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder. Next is the Maybelline Fit Me in 05 Fair. It is their loose finishing powder. I have a Basome Cosmetics Vanilla Powder. I got this one at a discount store for a dollar. These are w way more than a dollar and it was full. So, good find for me. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Then I have this uh, I can't read that who makes this who are what are you <laughs> uh, I don't know I think it might be a toed house. They did a, a Toy Story um, collab with Disney, and they had several compacts. They had Woody, um, the little cowgirl, I think her name was Jessie, and then they had Buzz Lightyear. So I like Buzz, so I got him. And this is from, In oh, it's from Innisfree, I think. Yeah, this from, the brand is Innisfree. This is also from Innisfree, it is their Emoji No Sebum Powder. I had to get the little, little emoji that was <laughs> crying, because it was cute. Then I have, woo, powdery. This is uh, Cody Airspun. Um, this is a loose powder. I think my grandma grew up using this. It's nostalgic, has a big old body poof. I love that thing. Then I have the Fenty Beauty Universal, no, Invisib Matte Blotting Powder in Universal. Then I have this um, Ilya Fade Into You Soft Focus Finishing Powder. It's a little small guy. I got this in a trade, I think. Then I have this Colormates uh, Pressed Powder and Rose Beige. Got this from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is from LA Colors. This is a pressed powder in the shade Nude. Let's see. Also get that from the Dollar Tree, these are really hard to close. There we go. Then I have this e.l.f. HD powder in the shade Soft Luminous. They do put, you know, the, the names on the bottom of these things. They're just really incredibly small. <laughs> see? So little. Can't even see it. But yeah, they do put it on there. It's just really hard to see. I had to squint hard to see that. Anyway, that's that one. Then I have this KVD uh, Brightening Powder in the shade Petal. I just, I just love her. The, I like the logo. Then I have this Beauty Bakery Flower Better Not Bitter setting powder. It's a little sample guy. 
Then I have this Philip here Cosmetics HD Finishing Powder in Translucent. I got this in a boxy charm or Ipsy or somewhere, something like that. I got this sent to me in PR. This is the Smashbox um, Photo Finish Fresh Setting Powder in shade 01. I just think that's cool. It looks like a camera lens. find it nostalgic because my dad was a photographer, so <laughs> it reminds me of the lenses he used to have. It's a loose powder. Then I have this uh, Eclipsis uh, Blur Power Powder Compact. Um, this is a Korean Beauty. Um, I've almost hit pan. I can see right there if you guys can see. I don't know if you can. Almost hit pan in that, so. You get a lot for, for it, and it's cheap, too. Um, this is a little mini of the Extraordinary pow uh, Powder by Ciate London. Then I have this Wonder Beauty um, Wanderlust Powder Foundation in the shade Fair. Mom passed this on to me. It's weird. It, <laughs> it is very weird. But that's the powder. That's just weird. The setup for it. Then I got this in a boxy charm. This is the Pretty Vulgar, uh, the Powder Room 147 Matte About It Transluting Setting Powder. I just think their packaging is really pretty. I like that. Reminds me of like old school vanities and stuff, you know what I mean? This is Flower Beauty Miracle Matte um, Translucent Finishing Powder. Just powdery. <laughs> then I have this Basame Cosmetics French Vanilla Face Powder. Um, this is the Basame Brightening Vanilla Face Powder. Yes, there is a difference. <laughs> this is the, the Balm Sexy Mama Anti-Shine Translucent Powder. I just love the pinup art on this. Yeah, just a translucent powder. Well, I guess some powder foundations got into my powders. Oh, well. So what? <laughs> um, this is the Balm Photo Balm Powder Foundation. What shade are you? In light. So, eh, whatever. So I have powders and powder foundations in here. That's fine. We'll just go with it. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Illumination in Radiant Translucent. This is the Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Butter. I got this uh, from a friend. She was selling all of her Fenty Beauty stuff and she gave me a really good deal on a few pieces. So that's how I got those. I was interested in it. So, and she was selling it and I'm like, well, I want all these. She's like, well, I'll just give you all a bundle and how's this price? I'm like, sold. <laughs> then I have this uh, Too Faced I Want Candy Banana Pudding. Brightening Face Powder. It's from the Candy Johnson Collection. Um, I got this in a trade from a friend. And the last one is from Jouer. It is their Mineral Powder in the shade um, Pearl Ivory. It's another powder foundation. Okay, so let me go grab my liquid foundation since the powder is in here. So hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. 
I have the Juvia's Place. These are all my liquid or stick foundations. My Juvia's Place stick foundation in the shade Tokyo. I have this Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. Good gravy. Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. Um, I think it's in the shade 150. Let me see. Yeah, in the shade 150. Then I have this... Um, it Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer in the shade Fair. I got this in an Ipsy. Then I have this Physician's Formula Organic Wear Silk Foundation Elixir in the shade Fair. This is the Bare Minerals. Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick in the shade Vanilla 02. I got this in a trade with a friend. Then I have this Laneige BB Cushion Pore Control in the shade 11 Porcelain. There's that there. This is just a foundation mixing pigment. It's the LA, uh, LA Girl uh, White. Then I have this number seven airbrush away foundation in the shade Calico. Next is the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation. <clears throat> Mine is in the shade Snow, which is fair with pink undertones. Next is the Nude Sticks, uh, Nudies Tinted Blur Stick in the shade Light One. I have this Pretty Vulgar Blurring Beauty Mousse in the shade Light as a Feather number 21. I got this at TJ Maxx for pretty cheap. Next I have this It Cosmetic Celebration Foundation in the shade Fair. I also have the Cosmetics Confidence in a Compact in the shade Fair. This is the Skin Transforming Full Coverage Solid Super Serum SPF 50 Broad Spectrum. Uh, yeah, that thing. <laughs> this is one of those cushion foundations, so I'm not going to open it yet. This is the NYX Total Control uh, Drops. It's in the shade Alabaster. And I'm, I've been using this one, so I'm about here. This one fell over, so I'm right about here. And the last one I have, I got this from a friend before I went cruelty-free. Um, well, I'm trying to go cruelty-free. I do have things that aren't cruelty-free in my collection, which I'm trying to use, but you know. Uh, we're, we're all not perfect. We can't all be 100% cruelty-free. There are just some things that, you know, <laughs> I think you all get me. This is from Lancome. This is the Tintai Doll Ultra Wear 24-hour. Um, it has a long, long name. Um, it's in the shade Neutral Ivory, number 90. 
Okay, that's my um, powders, uh, my setting powders, my powder foundation, and my liquid foundation, and some sticks. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like makeup inventory videos. Subscribe if you have not. We'd love for you to join the fam. And click that bell if you like more notifications from me. And I would see you. Okay. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.